Okay, here we are again. Um, this is kind of embarrassing, but I lost my entire slideshow. Well, I have the slideshow, but all the information is gone. I do not know how this happened. Um, but here's what you have to do. You have to take the Peloponnesian War and recreate the presentation or the information for the slideshow, okay? Now, right here, it says put your names here. When you guys group up, that's where I want your names, okay? One person who controls the slideshow will turn it in for the group. Uh, here are the directions for it. Okay, use this slideshow to construct the important parts of the presentation. Okay, go through, figure out what needs to go on each slide. Now, the good thing for you is you only need to work on one slide and you're working as a group. Okay, you cannot work alone. Uh, I want you to discuss things. I want you to ask each other questions. I want you to help each other out uh, because not all of us have the right answers. And if we come together, we might be able to get those right answers. Now, as you get into your group, make a copy of this entire slideshow. Okay, go up to file, make copy, entire presentation. Uh, then you'll own it, and then you can invite the group members onto that slideshow. And once you get the group members together, put your name on the slideshow. Okay, everyone has to be in a group. Uh, I want you to take people that are on the at home, uh, invite them into your group. Uh, you do, do not have to sit next to each other, but sometimes if you sit uh, six feet away from each other at, the, at a nearby table. You can look down and talk to each other or talk to the people online and uh, get going on, on this presentation. Now discuss with your group what information needs to go on the slide. Okay. And you do not have to work on the same slideshow or slide as everyone else in the class. Each group can do one slide. And we might have people doing the same slide in the same classroom, and that's fine. I don't care about that. But um, try to find information on one slide and fill that information out. Okay, determine what's important for that slide. I did leave, or some things didn't get erased, like some maps, some sources, uh, some titles didn't get erased. We'll look at that here in a second, okay? But I want you to shoot for about five bullet points for your slide. What are the five most important points that we should know about each of these titles on this or on the title of the slide you're looking at? Keep track of your sources. Make sure you you have good sources. Um, make sure you you know where to find that information again. So when I ask you where it is, you can go right to it. Um, ask me for help if you need any help, okay? Now, the very first slide is the causes of the Peloponnesian War. Okay, we're looking at cause and effect. Uh, so what caused it? Um, and you can turn it into your own research. You can check and see if I have any sources on this too. Uh, one map will look familiar on this. Uh, the other map is brand, brand new, but these are both Peloponnesian War maps. I don't know if you're going to use one or neither or both. Uh, here is the Athenian Wall, the Long Walls of Athens. Uh, check it out. <laughs> what information does this help you with okay uh the plague of athens uh i did a little bit of searching on that today um there's a lot of good good information out there but no information on the slide uh important events of the peloponnesian war okay what events were important again shoot for five dates um and those might go hand in hand with the important events the results the, the peloponnesian war um, so we're looking at cause and effect, okay? We had causes at the start, result at the end. I will fill out this vocabulary for you, uh, so that will help you out, but spheres of influence, flashpoint, embargo, logistics, triremes, and impregnable. Uh, that will be on the slideshow that I provide for you tomorrow. Um, and then, oh, hubris, okay? Uh, remember we talked about this? I'll fill this slide out a little bit more too, but hubris is that Greek sin of being arrogant and overconfident. And how is the Peloponnesian War an example of hubris? That's something we'll talk about when we get to the final thing there. Okay, and there are my unformatted uh, web page that I looked at. Let me know if you need help. Talk to you guys soon.